We've been working actually for several years already on re reducing the waste of our, uh, our cabin waste basically. Uh, and in particular on single-use plastic, we try to eliminate plastic wherever we can. Uh, yeah, and the, and the point is, uh, unfortunately, that for many cases, single-use plastic seems to be the most environmentally friend friendly option. Uh, and that's in particular due to the low weight. Uh, and and what, we, yeah, what we're working on is balancing redu reduction of single-use plastic versus the weight impact and to make uh, scientifically based choices basically on that. So it means that we have to be aware of uh, legislation uh, in, in all the countries we fly to. That's a challenge in itself. Uh, and then uh, usually they tend to be different. So it means that we have to adjust, uh, in the worst case, on a route basis, uh, what, what kind of product we have and how we package it and how we serve it uh, on board. So yeah, we, we are really looking in the coming years for more alignment, more harmonization of regulations uh, on a global scale. For some of our customers, it's extremely important. And for other, it's more to, important to have a, a nice uh, meal and a nice uh, drink and everything in between. So that's the challenge we face, is to, to have a proper answer that meets expectations of different segments of customers while doing the right thing for the planet eventually. We've set ourselves an ambition to reduce our cabin waste by 50% in 2025. Uh, so we have two years of hard work uh, to, uh, to achieve that. And then the journey continues uh, right into 2030 towards 2050. And ultimately the goal would be to move to zero cabin waste. Uh, and, and how to do that, we haven't fully figured it out, but it's uh, the only recipe is step by step uh, using the latest technology, the latest science, uh, and we're actively continuing to work on that.